What's going on and welcome back to the channel. Uh, got right in front of me is something of uh, Tucson. It is the TS328, I believe. Yeah, 328. Um, gonna do a real quick overview slash review of this thing. And it is a, a pretty nice knife. Like, I do like it. It's just one thing that kind of just gets me. And this is just my personal preference is it's just a little big in my hand. I have like medium slash like small hands, you know. I'd probably just say medium. Average hands, I guess. I don't know. So if you have a meteor hand, this knife would honestly be perfect for you. Um, as you can see in my hand, it is the handle a little bit uh, bigger, and the blade's obviously a little bigger too, which I like the blade. I think it looks great. Um, great size, great length. Um, it's just for my hand, it is a little too big. I have also noticed that, um, I didn't notice it, but it, I'll let you know, there's no jimping on it. And I, you know, if you're working outside of this type of knife, you're going to kind of slip, especially with it starting to warm up a little bit. You know, you're working outside using your knife. You could definitely slip a little bit. So that's something you kind of have to think about when buying it. So it's, yeah, that's one thing. I I love jimping, but I actually like the way it looks without it on this knife, which is kind of surprising for me, obviously. But um, it is kind of concaved or kind of milled a little bit right there. So it's kind of like a rounded, has rounded edges on it. So it kind of, that's why I kind of like it because they did that to it. So it's kind of like a good little touch, I think, to it. Like, if you're not going to add jimping to it, like, do something like that. That's, it just looks good. Um, handles and the ergos really are great. They're just a little, the handles, it's a little too big for my hand. Um, so, with the price tag, it's $200 over at White Mountain Knives. Now, I would say it's, it's kind of weigh your options. Like, I'll go into more details on the knife. So, you kind of have to weigh your options on that. Do you want a bigger knife and if it's bigger in your hand? Or they also, I found out from someone commenting, they have another knife just about like this. It's just smaller. So I'm definitely going to check that out and see if I can get my hands on one just to see the difference in it, I guess. Because I, I looked it up and looked at it and it looked pretty nice, looked pretty similar, and I think I'm going to try it. But um, I think it would be more up my alley. But again, I love the blade shape, the way it looks. The non, Even though it's not got jimping on it, it does look pretty good still. Um, it is M390. Yeah, M390. Where is it at? Does it say it on there? Yes, it does right there m390 right in the middle of the wording or lettering um but yeah like i said ergos are great for the handle just a little too long i do actually really like the flipper tab it kind of broke in pretty well i've carried it about two weeks around the house off and on and it opens pretty daggone well i like it. it's not like overly large either and it has just the perfect jimping on it to get it to flip open real easy um the only problem with it also is the thumb hole like obviously works good with your thumb but when it comes to like your reverse flipping you have to be kind of keep your mind on what you're doing because the it, the hole is so it's pretty much right on top of that the the liner lock because it is obviously a liner lock if you didn't notice um so you kind of almost press that in a little bit as you're trying to get them you know get some effort into your finger and push it in and flip it but you got to not push that that in as well the liner lock so it's kind of it's kind of like nice that it's slow, like it sits low and everything like that. But it also is like a dang if you do, dang if you don't, you know. So it's it's not bad. You just have to pay attention to it how you open it. But after you get used to it after a while, it's not bad. Because at first, I remember when I first got this, the first impressions kind of really sucked on it because I had problems getting it open. But now I don't have much problems. You just, like you said, you use the knife, you get used to it, and you know how it opens. And like I said, for the thumb, it doesn't work too bad. You know, just put a little pressure on it, things right open. Flipper tab, awesome. Let's get a little overall length for you guys real quick. Uh, there we go. All right, the overall blade length, cutting edge is about three and a half. Um, yeah, I would say right at three and a half. The overall length of the knife is about eight. I'm a little, almost eight and a half, maybe probably 8.6. I would say 8.6. So it's a pretty good size knife, like I said. Uh, it's a little bit bigger. Um, I don't have my... So VB Praxis out to kind of compare it to. Let me see if I do. No, I do not. But I do have a large CJRB Pyrite real quick. And it's even a little... Uh, it's right there. I might say it looks like a hairball longer. Just like a little bit. I don't know. It's, it's, it's right there. So if you know what a large Pyrite is, it's right there. And again, I actually really like this thing. It's even though it's bigger, I do I feel like it fits a little better in my hand, like lengthwise. So it's, it's just preference. Um, the titan it does have titanium diamond textured handles on here. 
They are pretty nice. Like I do think I like the Kun Wu diamond texturing a little better. I feel like my hands get a little, a little, a little slipperier, slipperier on this one. I don't know why, because like, I feel like they are slightly different, but I feel like my hands do slide just a hairball more on it. Um, not bad though, I would say. Let's get a weight for you too, real quick, while we're at it. Get my trusty scale out. Get out of the light. There we go. Rock and roll. So it is a little hefty, a little 4.9 right there. So she's a little heavy, but not bad though. Like I always say, the weight's not necessarily a big deal because I have, I have smaller knives. Like if I'm wearing gym shorts or sweatpants, like I have smaller knives that I'll put in my you know, sweatpants, stuff like that, pockets. If I'm wearing jeans, like I don't worry about the weight. I'll carry whatever I want because I usually also wear a belt. So, but either or, like even if I don't wear a belt, like it fits just fine. I don't have any problems. Um, I don't know if I mentioned it yet, but the pocket clip is titanium, but it is not reversible. I thought originally it was, just because it had another screw on this side, obviously. So I figured you just switch stuff out. But I was told, I think I, someone commented saying it wasn't. But um, it also has a screw, if you see, look right down in there, right there. It has it underneath of the pocket clip. So I doubt that's probably the hold in the in the liner lock or something. The, the Yeah, the liner lock, something like that. That's what it looks like down in there. But um, great knife though overall. I really can't say a whole lot about about it. Um, if you definitely have bigger hands, this is going to be right up your alley. But it is two hundred dollars, so that's something you're going to have to weigh. Um, that's really all I got. M three ninety told you that. But yeah, that's it. If you guys like the video, just leave a thumbs up, please. Uh, if you have anything else to say on it, or comment wise, I'll comment down in the comment section. And uh, have a great day.